Welcome back to another episode of This Week on Channel 9. I'm your host, Christina Warren, Senior Cloud Advocate. And yeah, I know last time uh, we had an episode, I promised that the next time I recorded, my home office would be a full studio. I'd have a green screen and a new camera. And uh, well, mistakes were made. And I'm still working on getting it set up. The camera is still waiting for it to be delivered. But in any event, welcome to the mess that is my office. Also, just a quick programming note, because of kind of A, the dearth of news and B, the huge amount of work that everyone is having to do now that we're all remote, this week on Channel 9 is going to be every other week, probably until uh, we're able to return to normal, whatever normal is, and return to the studio proper. So just a heads up on that. But don't worry, we will still be here bringing you the latest developer news. So let's just get into it. All right, first things first, Microsoft Build is coming up. And even though we will not have a physical build presence this year, we will still have a massive build event taking place completely online. It will be held from May 19th through the 21st. And I'm gonna be there doing a lot of build live uh, duties as we've done in years past. And you're gonna see tons of your other channel line favorites as well. There's gonna be great sessions, great information. So be sure to tune in and check out the show notes and the description for all the details about Microsoft Build and how you can join us on the 20 on, on May 19th. Next up, .NET 5 Preview 3 is now available. And um, if you're not familiar with .NET 5, let me just read a couple of things from the, the .NET uh, 5 Preview 1 post, which is um, .NET 5 is going to continue to unify .NET into a single platform that includes .NET Mobile App, uh, which is Xamarin, um, and uh, it will also include ASP.NET Core, Entity Framework Core, WinForms, WPF, uh, Xamarin, and ML.NET. And so for the first time, the entire platform is going to be using a unified BCL or a base class library for all of the app models. And so having a version 5 that is both higher than the .NET Core and the .NET Framework also means that .NET 5 is going to be the future of .NET, which is a single unified platform for building any type of application. So obviously this is really, really exciting. Um, .NET 5 has a lot of uh, great things coming up with it. And in the preview three release, there are some code improvements and the team is continuing to build out the features that they have on their roadmap once .NET 5 comes out. So I've got a show note, I've got links in the show notes and the description where you can learn more about uh, .NET 5 preview three and how to test it out. And the team recommends checking it out like in a container or a VM. And also just a note that Entity Core Framework 5.0 Preview 3 and ASP.NET Core 5.0 Preview 3 are also now available. And I've got links to all of these in the show notes and the description down below. Next up, Windows Terminal version 0.11 is now available on both GitHub and the Microsoft Store. And this is actually the last major update before the 1.0 release of Windows Terminal, which you know, hopefully we should be seeing relatively soon. And so releases between now and then will be revisions of this version. And there are a couple of major changes in this version to how settings work. And so the profiles.json app is now called settings.json, very similar to Visual Studio Code. And um, there are some changes in how copy paste works by default as well. And so I've got details in the show notes in the description. If you haven't already tried out uh, the Windows Terminal, definitely give it a shot because it is coming together and looking fantastic. Next up, the Python for Visual Studio Code um, uh, April 2020 release is available now. And this is an extension for Visual Studio Code bringing lots of great Python support. This was a short release that addressed 43 different issues, including um, IP widget support in Jupyter Notebooks and um, debugger support for Django and Flask auto reload. And so uh, I've got um, uh, links in the show notes in the description where you can download uh, the extension and read all of the release notes. Um, in other news, this actually happened last week, but it's so cool that I needed to uh, make sure that we talked about it. So GitHub's for Teams is now free. And this is amazing news. And it means that private repositories with unlimited contributors 
are now available to all GitHub accounts. And so what this basically means is that all of the core GitHub features are now free for everyone. So this is really fantastic news and I've got more info in the show notes in the description, uh, including some information about what you need to do if you have an existing account. And speaking of GitHub, there's a fantastic blog post on some pro tips and secrets from Allison Law on the GitHub blog. So be, be sure to check that out. On Channel 9 this week, we've got lots of great content. Uh, we've got a, a show on Power Apps with Ryan Jones about how to start using common data services on the Power Platform. Over on VS Toolbox, uh, uh, Robert covers the Entity Framework Core Part 3, Part 3 of a series. So we just mentioned that the Entity Framework uh, new version is in preview. And if you want to get more information about Entity Framework, check out that series. And over on the DevOps Lab, uh, there, uh, uh, Ed and uh, Damian talk about deploying to Azure using GitHub Actions. And so I've got links to all of these shows in the show notes and the description. Be, to, be sure to check them out. And now it's time for my pick of the week. All right, so I didn't think that there was any way that I would be buying uh, an Xbox um, a One X because you know the Xbox Series X is going to come out in like six months. But uh, all right, Phil Spencer, you got me. You got me because there is a limited edition Cyberpunk 2077 Xbox One uh, X that will be out in June, and there is an Xbox controller, limited edition uh, Cyberpunk uh, controller that is available now. Cyberpunk 2077 is a much anticipated uh, kind of a RPG open world game that is based on the um, tabletop game of the same name. It's been in the works for years. It looks fantastic. Keanu Reeves is gonna be one of the voices. I can't wait. And also just like check out the design. This thing looks so cool. I cannot wait to get my hands on it, even if I am a little mad that I'm going to buy two Xboxes this year. So I've got links to details about the controller, some other accessories in the show notes in the description. And also just a note that uh, on Xbox Game Pass, a uh, Red um, Dead uh, Redemption 2 is now available. So if you haven't played that game, which is fantastic, it is now available as one of the Game Pass um, games for Xbox. Well, that does it for me. If you liked this episode, go ahead and give us a like on YouTube. It really helps us out. And while you're there, go ahead and subscribe to us at Microsoft Developer for all of your nerd needs. And I will see you next time.